Hello everyone, Peter here, Piotr Fitzner. Guys, so I never made a proper intro introduction to, to this YouTube channel, I think, uh, because I didn't know how it will go, okay? So the main reason for this channel is that, uh, actually there are two reasons to that. You can't say the one is main and second is less important. So, one of it is, I think, this, you know, that's the, that's the reason why, yes, right to repel.uk. And why it's important, uh, if you don't know, we can't fix certain devices, you can't even open them without damaging them. Uh, other, compon other devices you can open, but you can't get components if they are faulty. And other ones you can fix, you've got components, but there are certain components like married to the main board. Um, like the best example are Xbox, for instance, and PlayStation, yes? So that Blu-ray um, chip is mounted to the main board, uh, married to the main board, and then when that chip is faulty, you can't literally fix that console ever again. Uh, so yeah, so that, that's, you know, um, that's the reason why this one is important. Then we waste thousands of pound, uh, thousands of tons of e-waste every year, yes, in the UK alone. Uh, the same in other countries, it's not that UK is special, but, you know, we wasting, it's, it's huge amount and to be true, yes, to be true, there is no need for that. Uh, and to build new electronics, Yes, yeah, some of this is obsolete, you know, like it's technology is just too slow, like MacBook from 2009, you would like to do everything from 2022, yes, or even from 2011. But the point is that we can still use these things, yes, because producing them, as I mentioned it before, takes natural resources from the soil. So what's happening is now they are not endless. And if you look only from that point of view, yes, uh, then we overpopulated our planet, pretty much. If you've got a family, if you've got children or grandchildren, if you care about them, without taking an action, without integrity as a whole human race, despite other problems, yes, if we won't integrate in this matter, something in the future we will look at them and we will see, okay, this person can't communicate with their home because there is no technology as we were used to, yes? They, they've got a problem, they can't communicate, yes? So if we want to avoid these troubles, we, we underappreciate sometimes what we have and we should learn and encourage next generations to do more about recycling and repairs. That's why we need to fight for our right to repair. And so that's a reason number one, yes, and it's written here, no, see it, yes, let's make it with Intetim, why it's, let's make it with Intetim, my business was Fisner IT, so I was got Fisner, yes, and, and then it's about IT, and switch off the DSLR, and I decided to do something about it, like do the repairs matter, yes, matter, that repairs matters. So I came up with a business name Inteteam, which stands for Integrity Team. Now, uh, it won't happen on its own. Either you take action with me, or I will be alone and I won't deliver, yes? So imagine now, um, if we are one million people, and we all use products and services as a private customers and as companies, yes? And we are at least one million people. We don't have to fight, guys. That's fighting is just the word to, you know, bring our attention more to the problem, yes? But it's, it's, never, like a, it's never like a real fight. It's just changing the way we're doing, going out of our comfort zone, going to, let's say, Intetim, taking products and services which are which we're using anyway yes and then each of us can contribute by using only by switching let's say mobile contract or or broadband contract or other contracts yes switching those to to those which intertim offers 
or taking web hosting or building a website over there or managing your own business that through the software we are coding yes excuse me uh, and and all of those products and services we will, which we will be adding we will be putting one pound aside from each sale we make on top of that on this website we will build as well donation so each person if don't want to subscribe to any service any product if can give like either six pounds half a year three pounds every you know three months or 12 pounds per year on their own that will help us why because if we've got one million people giving this one pound per month then what we can do is we can now build fixable devices we don't have to go even for you and knock knock microsoft knock knock and um, apple knock knock um, playstation yes or sony give us schematics give us uh, board view give us all the components no keep on doing guys the way you're doing but we don't need to have profits because we are self-sustainable because of our great crowdfunding community which is fed up with what you're doing for us for the last decades yes so cheers to with a black coffee cheers to those of you who who are joining <clears throat> guys i'm super excited because we don't need to fight for it we can just integrate and the beauty of it is that we're using these technologies which we can fix together to make it happen we got these technologies yes and we will be using our enemies technology to do it as well so we will fight not enemies but we will fight companies which just are focused on the profits yes so now at the end it will increase the price of the production yes it, it will but if you can fix this device and don't buy it second time you've got 50 percent off already because you will just use it for a few more years or another year yes depend what the what it is uh, if you've got an audio amplifiers i've got a uh, i've got if you watch this channel you know i've got a amplifiers one two one customer called i've got a sony here to repair as well and uh, i've got four audio amplifiers yes these are good from 70s this sansui is is a audio amplifier you might not see it you know the best way but this sansu is from 78 1978 it's a brilliant yes brilliant audio quality if you would you know if you would watch this channel you would know it it's worth to fix it over buying a new stuff from any electronic shop out there yes so if we can build if we can have one million pounds per month we can build any device we want to be true and then when we build those devices if we will have a small profit yes why not put this profit onto members of interteam and sales can go only through the members yes you 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 won't be able to buy at the start apart from the members yes now imagine yourself that you're buying game console and you can hack it for free it's on an open source um, software you can hack the software the way you want we don't care we're giving you all the schematics we're giving you all the all the board view all the components you need to buy and you can't get them any partner shop repair shop of interteam will give you access to these parts locally because we will call all the repair shops in the uk those who will join those will have access to the tools and products and services what we have so then if you don't want to speak di directly to us or require personal attention you will be able to go to those repair shops in the uk small repair shops we aim for the smallest one guys we don't aim for big ones we aim for the small ones we want to help us people that's why it's integrity team inter team and we want to teach people as well how to repair devices we want to give full proper tutorials on each time because i'm doing for 20 plus years i can do most like from a to z that's why you know i i want people to first specialize in one way and then 
have the opportunity to learn another ways, yes? And then specialize in as many categories as they want, not to fix only game consoles, but they can fix TVs. Electronic heaters. It doesn't matter if it's electronics after all. So, yes, let's use the opportunity to fix this stuff, use it again and again. And guys, if you bought, if you bought it, used one for like 30, 40, 100 pounds, yes? Years, years back. Even if in five years time, or even in one year time, you'll have to replace all the capacitors and you'll spend another 50, 60 pounds to repair it. Guys, these capacitors will last you for another 10 years or so. So this old stuff, yes, shouldn't be ending up on the landfill. It shouldn't, just literally. Speakers, you can rewind them. You don't have to throw speakers. If, they are, if they've got a crackling noise, that means this coil inside needs rewinding. And then guess what? You have to order another speaker, which will come from China, yes? Uh, probably, most likely. Uh, and why? You know why? Why you have to take it to that extreme? You can get used ones here, and then those you can give us to fix. If you can't afford, you know, like if it's not worth for you, we can do something like, okay, we can fix it, yes? And then we can share profits from sell. So then if somebody else is coming, they've got like a, another 30, 50, 100 watt speaker, yes? Eight ohms, for instance. Um, either drive Twitter or, well, I didn't rewind Twitters in my life, to be true. <laughs> I, I did revive, I did down, I haven't, I have done these, these and uh, bigger, bigger ones. I get, I get here 150 watts um, stage speaker. So no, these are possible. I will be, I've got two Twitters, which I will be attempting. I've ordered two as well from AliExpress, to be true. Um, because if I won't be able, I will be able to compare these ones, how they are built, and I want to see if the modern speakers will have any difference in the design of the old ones. Because then what we can do is we can use stuff which lying around in the house and build speaker out of it, you know, like you can build everything and then mount it and then epoxy glue it, you know, um, that that's not a problem and, and it will work 100% great, you know, the audio quality will be 100% great. But first and foremost, you can learn to do these things yourself. You can teach others to do it. We don't have to take so much stuff from China. We don't have to send so much stuff from China. And when we will have 1 million pounds per month, when we will be building those devices, we can create schools of repairs and we can create small production lines here in the UK. And when we will be ready, we might have a whole full production line of service a certain products. So let's say um, people will be able to assemble and test, yes, and then put aside and there will be whole pallet done of something. And then another person will receive that pallet and they will be doing another part of their own. And we can have this small in-house production line. So this person will make certain amount of money, this person will make certain amount of money, or we can see if it's maybe worth to create proper job places, rent a huge warehouse, you know, employ people and give them jobs here in the UK. Of course, we will buy components in China, yes, and in other places, we will. But maybe someday part of these components we can produce in the UK. Why not? No. Why? Maybe we will integrate to the level, because that's how I see it, that the whole production from A to Z will be done in country. Then all the repairs will be done in country. Yes? And then all the profits will stay in the country or at least most of the profits. Yes, that's how I see it. So that's the reason number one, fighting for the right to repair. 
And second uh, reason for this YouTube channel, yes, I know it's long, I know, believe me, I know it. Um, so the second reason for this YouTube channel, <laughs> no, uh, uh, the second reason for this YouTube channel is that I'm recording because I've got customers and I'm fixing these devices since 90s, yes? So, you can say that I feel 100% genuine always with customers. I don't cheat. If I, if I make something faulty, I will say it. I will admit it. And if it's a small fault which won't bother, you know, like it's inside and I burned a bit of something, but it completely doesn't matter, like a piece of plastic or something, and it's inside, nobody will see it, then I might not even say it to customer. And that's true, you know, because what's the value for the customer to know such detail? But when it's a, let's say, component burned or I fixed one thing and there is another thing faulty, yes, because certain things you can see because they are short-circuited and you can see them immediately. But certain things, they will show up only after you've done the fix, yes? Or you're doing the fix and you plug it in everything and then suddenly, boo, oh, actually it's not working, it's worse, yes? And now suddenly you see the fault. <laughs> That's what it is. So when I'm screwing up things, I'm telling that. But some of the people were coming to me and were showing, trying to prove, of course they didn't, but they tried to prove that I did something which is worse than their case, yes? And that was a pain for me because I don't need electronic repairs as much for, for myself. I don't need it. I'm a web developer, I'm trading forex for uh, exchange currencies and I, I don't I don't need that yes I can stay at home focus on those two things and I will be okay but I've decided to focus on a different stuff yes I've decided to focus on fixing electronics just because we've got a huge problem with the right to repair so people should appreciate that I'm going off my way yes my family because of that is going off their way as well and we go in because of us, all of us, not me, us. So guys, uh, no matter how hard I would try to be perfect, I won't be. No matter how hard I would try to please everyone, I won't. I won't make this world a utopia or heaven or whatever you can call it, yes? No. But you know what? I will try my best, as I'm trying right now, to deliver always the best. And that's why I need this YouTube channel to show as well to others that when I'm fixing, they can see my hands, what they are doing with their own stuff. Because I, be I believe that they deserve to know. So yes, on one side it is for my security, but as well it's for the person of what, whatever could happen, you know, they can go back and they can see it on YouTube. In the booking system, uh, we've created at bookrepaironline.co.uk. For now, uh, I don't attach uh, YouTube videos, but I'm planning to do it when we will go out of beta version. I'm planning to do it so that customer, when they will log in, they can go back to the video. And if they move to another place, let's say, and they have amplifier fix yes for instance or speaker or something yes they can just go to the repair shop which have a contract with us or don't have a contract with us yes and they can show what was happening who fixed that what what was diagnosed originally yes and then the solution for it so you know i think we're doing the best we can and if somebody sees what we could improve we're open to it, yes? I'm running a team of about 10 people. And believe me, one only is Scottish. I was trying many, many times with different foreign people, with British people and so on. Either they are too busy or giving up too quickly or they are just not interested, yes? So I found only one, one is, is okay. And uh, hopefully more people will join. Uh, something in the future and to repair and to 
manage the business with us from the you know admin side uh, yeah 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 that's 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 what it is that's what this youtube channel is about and i don't know what else i can add okay i can at, at, at the end before disconnecting i can tell you like this inter team is a business Register it in my name and it will be LTD. Yes, sometime in the future we will make it LTD. For now it's just self-employment. Now this business look after the huge problem, which is the right to repair, yes? Right to repair um, its website, yes? That's something which we all should care about, yes? So somebody has to look after it. If nobody will look after it, nothing will change. We need them in integrity. So our marketing team, graphic designer, web developers, now um, one Mr. D uh, from support and, and the marketing, you know, that person, we're looking how to make this perfect, the best we can, yes? So we're doing it, adding the team. Uh, my time, I'm designating to repairs, uh, to buying faulty stuff, to buying good stuff, making spa for it, you know, treatments, and reselling it back on the market, yes? Uh, sometimes I'm buying for only for spares, yes? So that I can fix for another people. I've got over 10 Xboxes of one kind, just because if somebody will come five years in the future, yes, I will be able to come, the solder this, and solder to theirs, yes, and fix it, because we can't get these parts anymore. So I've used my own personal funds to do it, yes? Because I, I went, with one contract for a website for about ten thousand pounds and they paid me so pound, pound of uh, part of this project money i've decided not to spend at home but i decided to spend on the business we bought some software and we bought uh, those those xboxes to repair xbox 1540 the regular one the, the original one uh, one s's and one x's yes so yeah some of them they can be still fixed some of them i bought and i sold with a profit of course and some of them are still here. That's it, guys. I, I don't know what else I can tell you. You know a bit about me. I came into the UK in 2008. Uh, since then, I love it. I just love the UK. We could do some things better here. I'm not saying I love Boris. Well, Boris I might love, but I don't like him. Yes? So I don't like uh, Boris. And... Uh, he should be a bit more in my humble opinion for what he've done because if we would do it you know we would end up in a huge trouble and there should be nobody else in the country who's better than another person because then these things are the way they are yes so let's we don't follow these people and let's we integrate and let's show to the world that we can make it better in our our generation yes not any other that we step out from our comfort zones and we took an action guys thank you thank you for being with me thank you for taking part in the right to repair movement take care bye bye